Hey guys, this is Josh. Welcome back to War Room. Gonna take a little bit of time today because I wanted to talk about a subject that I've gone back and forth on and sort of have a lot of varying opinions about. Um, so let's jump right into it. I want to talk about gloves. Uh, why do I want to talk about gloves? When I first uh, started getting into Nerf and actually Airsoft and stuff, uh, I really wanted to have gloves. I thought that they looked cool and, and they made me feel cool and... Uh, now I sort of look at them from a little bit of a different standpoint. Uh, just wanted to go over some of the things that I've tried, some of the things that I've done, give you some tips and ideas of what to think about if you're thinking about running gloves. If you don't run gloves, why you might want to. If you do, why you might want to reconsider what you're running, how you're running it, why you're running it. So uh, let's jump right in. I've got a bunch of different gloves laid out on my bed over here. Um, now. I actually started out with uh, with these guys. These are a um, and this is back when I used to do airsoft, and and a lot of this is sort of translated over to the way that I do nerf. So uh, these are actually weightlifting gloves. Now the reason I got them, uh, they were recommended to me by a friend uh, because uh, we did a lot of outdoor and indoor stuff, and um, they had told me, hey, you want something that has this sort of. Uh, wrist protection so you're not going to like sprain your wrist if you fall and you take a little bit of an impact uh it also has pretty good um uh, uh padding here on the actual palm so i i like this i got it i was really excited now the biggest problem that i've had with these is uh holding stuff it's so padded because it's really made to grab uh you know small bars and stuff for for weightlifting. uh even the, the each finger has a pad individually uh, it kind of was a little bit difficult to hold things. When I grabbed them, uh, it, it added so much bulk to my palm that it was kind of difficult for me to grab. I already have really tiny hands, as most of you know, so uh, it wasn't the most comfortable thing. Uh, it also didn't breathe a whole heck of a lot. I don't know if you can tell. This is like neoprene, and I know that underneath here it has a few vents like uh, this, but for the most part, uh, my hands were just sweating to, to high heck in these, and it wasn't the most comfortable thing with the wrist support. Now, I realized after running it for a while, hey, I probably don't need this much wrist support, and, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not falling down and, and hurting myself quite like that. So, uh, something else I tried were, were these guys. These are Hatch uh, Operator. I forget the model or whatever they have, um, you know, because I was all about being super tactical back then. And, uh, you know, I had long sleeves that would, would go over this. And uh, it was great for keeping stuff out of, you know, I guess sleeves or in, in the actual glove. But I didn't really have... Uh, I actually liked these. What I liked was they allowed me the uh, pretty decent dexterity. And that's something that I wanted to touch on because when you're looking at gloves, especially if you're in game types where you have to reload, uh, you know, put more ammo in, you don't want something that is really difficult to uh, grab, pick up, and load darts with if you're wearing two gloves. Uh, that's why originally I wanted to go with something that was fingerless. Again, it's really difficult for me to find gloves in my size. Um, my finger length is kind of odd, so, you know, a half finger will sometimes be a three-quarter finger. There's a whole bunch of different things. So what I really started doing is saying, hey, these are nice, they're neat. I was really kind of worried about them getting all messed up. The There's a little bit of padding uh, right down here. The rest of it is just sort of double-layered. I know a lot of guys who actually got these, and there's, if you look right here, a second layer of... Um, or a little ring of uh, uh, like leather that, that they would cut this down so that they would have sort of a, the trigger finger exposed, which is cool. It has the, the padded knuckles. I, I didn't necessarily need it. It's got some extra um, padding here, uh, or not even padding, but it's more of a uh, grippy texture so that if you have, you know, something that is, is like a handle for a uh, airsoft gun or a, a Nerf blaster, a little bit of padding on here just to sort of keep that in your hands. It, it, these were pretty nice. They worked well for me. I gotta say, I enjoyed them. They fit my fingers well. I had a uh, much better dexterity, surprisingly even more so than the weightlifting gloves. Um, now, in in the search for dexterity, I switched to these guys because again, those were a little bit. Um, they were pretty warm, right? So I I went to something super lightweight. These were cheapy, and I've started using these for doing like work on my car and stuff like that super uh super lightweight the my hands really don't sweat too bad in them the entire palm is just basically covered with uh you know some some grippy texture and that's about it so 
if you've watched some of these War Room videos before and you've seen stuff like the uh, the handles that we made out of uh, bike tubes, you know, I didn't have that on like my airsoft guns and things. So uh, something like this was was really kind of su even more more ability to grab and manipulate small objects, and uh, it fit my hand like pretty perfect. I liked it a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it didn't provide quite the padding or um, you know uh, shock protection that I was necessarily looking for. It was an all right uh, choice. You know, it was it was really cheap. And it really was just there to help me kind of get a grip and make sure that everything was was good to go. Now, eventually, I went to these Oakleys because I wanted to be super tactical. And I had a buddy uh, who got these for me for uh, a, a little bit of a discount price. They are uh, official and legit and all that jazz. And, of course, I just felt like the most tactical, um, you know, guy on the field with these. I, did I need hard knuckles? No. Uh, the palms have been amazing. They lasted me for years, um, in and out of buildings, on trees, climbing stuff. They didn't rip or tear. I thought they were going to, <coughs> excuse me. Um, they have little vents. They aren't, they definitely aren't as cool as those last ones that I showed you, those mechanics uh, style gloves. They're not mechanics, the brand, but they're made for doing oil changes real quick, stuff like that. I know a lot of people love mechanics gloves. Um, they're a great option. They give you some, some grippiness. I've never been able to find sizes that quite fit me. Um, but again, I got these. I was surprised they fit me well. Uh, I use these for most of my airsoft career just because I wanted to, you know, look super elite and tactical. Uh, but when I got to Nerf, I was kind of like, well, I don't really, you know, I've, I used them once or twice. But the biggest thing, again, was having that uh, dexterity, that ability to reload darts, which I couldn't really get with this. If I was running a super, super heavy loadout where uh, I just wasn't ever going to have to reload off the field. And, you know, like at a, I think I ran these at an HVZ event because I wanted to keep my hands warm because it was overnight. And uh, I knew I was never going to have to actually pick up any uh, darts off of the ground and load them in that way. These were a great option. I liked them. Uh, they're expensive for nerfing. I don't know if I would recommend them. Definitely not for the price. Uh, they look awesome. I love that. Uh, if, if you're just looking at keeping your hand warm and maybe a little bit of grippiness, I have run these at a uh, San Francisco Nerf event before. These also super cheap fingerless uh, uh, gloves. I They fit nice. They keep my hands warm, which is really what I was going for because I just wanted to stay warm at the time. Again, San Francisco overnight. It gets pretty pretty chilly there. Uh, I wanted to be able, again, to uh, grab stuff, be able to reload things, because I stopped running so heavy, because that was one of the problems I had at the first HVZ event I went to, was I did a super heavy loadout, and it was just, it wasn't as fun for me, because uh, I wanted to be able to run and be a little bit more mobile, and it's not like a week-long event or anything like that, it's just, you know, so many hours overnight, so... We really, I was like, I, I just want to be able to run. If I, I can carry a pouch with some extras if I need to reload, but I don't want to, I, I forget how many, two, four, six, eight, twelve, eighteen round magazines, something like that. It's not the heaviest load out there, certainly, but um, I didn't want it quite, quite that bad. So, again, this, these little dots on here just sort of, uh, they don't provide any uh, shock proof. Uh, there's no... Um, you know, padded palm or anything like that. It's really, these just keep you nice and toasty and nothing's really going to follow your hand. They're grippy, but you got that dexterity. So I like, I like these. And, and one of the things that I started doing was really looking at other, uh, gloves made for other things. Cause you can obviously get like shooters gloves and things like that. And that's, you know, certainly I'm sure a fine option. I've never purchased any, unless you count the, uh, the Oakley ones that I showed earlier because they're expensive. They're really expensive. So I was looking at other options like, hey, what would be cool in maybe this kind of terrain? And that's really what I wanted to sort of stress is what what is going to work for you and why? You know, what what terrain are you, are you wearing gloves because you're going to be cold? Like at most games, I've stopped wearing gloves because I don't need them. Uh, I've, I've contemplated them picking them back up again because the Apollo uh, sort of has this prime where I want a little bit of padding. So it's really looking at why am I going to wear this and what is it going to add or take away? Again, if you're wearing full finger gloves, you might not have that ability to uh, to uh, uh, reload on the fly. Now, these are something that I thought was like a really cool idea, and I've sort of 
toyed around with going back and forth on these. These are actually uh, uh, climbing gloves for like uh, rock climbing or uh, I forget. There's a there's a few different things, but these are rock climbing gloves specifically. They're uh, three quarter finger instead of half, so they go past the knuckle. But I still have a little bit left, so I can grab darts once again, do stuff like that. I didn't. I, I wasn't worried about the uh, the palms having any issues if I'm grabbing onto like concrete or even trees, depending on where we're playing. Uh, it's decently cool. This whole back part uh, cools me off because that's one of the things that I was like, I really want to make sure that it keeps me cool. Uh, as much as it protects my, my hands. Because really that's about the only reason in Nerf for me at the moment, because I'm not doing any overnight games, that I'm wearing gloves is just to, I need to protect my hands from either the terrain, or again, I have a blaster that's just like heck to prime. I know I had a modded uh, Alpha Trooper for a while that I ran it for an entire game, and I don't, I don't know if I still have a picture, but my entire palm right here was just, uh, there's just this huge bruise. Uh, because that little lip on the Alpha Trooper that normally doesn't bug me, I had to just slam it back, and that uh, that really caused some issues. So we're running long here, guys. I know this is longer than most war rooms go. I'm going to show you what I'm currently running right now, and that is by no means the best. It's just something that uh, that is working for me right now. These are uh, Grease Monkey is the brand, and they are, again, a sort of mechanic-type glove. Um, they have a, a padded knuckle, which, again, I don't really need to nerf. All of this is really porous and lets a lot of air out it's very cool uh the the front this is like a decent i don't even know if this is i wouldn't call it leather but it's um it's a material that i don't really have to worry about getting too scuffed up uh just by holding things and going around again i'm not climbing rocks obviously it does have some some grippiness and a little bit of padding uh right right down here right there and then right along the inside it's actually there's a second layer of sort of the same material but there's some padding in there so it's really kind of great for that uh you know i've i've enjoyed these they've been keeping me pretty dry uh i like the look the feel right here which is uh I, i've seen this on a few different glove types but this is actually almost like a terry cloth or like a microfiber which is like supposed to be made for doing exactly that just like oh wiping the sweat from your brow I found that awesome. I was like, oh, that's, I definitely sweat when I'm at Nerf games. So being able to do that and uh, it just sort of, you know, it, it soaks it right up. It's great. These have been working out for me. I'm not going to by any means say they're the best or you should go out and get these exact ones. Uh, they're just right now what's working for me. Again, try looking at other, other things. If you do want to wear gloves or need gloves, think about why you need them, what they're going to do for you and the potential uh, downfalls of gloves, right? Not being able to handle things if uh, they're full finger, for example. And, and don't forget, you can always modify your gloves, guys. Like, if uh, you have something, uh, like I was mentioning before, I've seen a lot of guys cut fingers off of gloves. Not necessarily all of them to make them fingerless, but hey, I just want, uh, you know, my, my index finger and my thumb because that's what I use to grab and load darts. That's all I need. The rest of them I want to be covered because I want to be warm and keep that grip. You know, so it's really up to you. I've looked at a ton of different stuff. You know, I was looking at um, sailing gloves because I really wanted to be able to... I knew that they could um, uh, sort of take the the burn of, like, you know, ropes and things like that. So I've, I've looked at a ton of different stuff. And, you know, some things were cost-effective, some things weren't. Get out there, see, you know, go to Home Depot or Orchard Supply or whatever kind of hardware store you have. Check out their glove selection. See what they have, what's, you know, within your price range. Look at other sports types of gloves, right? I, I do have stuff, other gloves that aren't these, obviously, for various other things. I mean, other sports might have something great that no one's ever thought of. I know that uh, pool gloves, for instance, have certain fingers uh, covered and certain ones not. Probably not going to work for Nerf because I think they cover other ones and there's no padding they're just like a cloth to allow a, a, a pool cue to slip through but see there you go you've already learned probably more about gloves than you ever wanted to know but my point is always sort of be on the lookout and that's one of the things that i want to emphasize in these videos is look for things outside of necessarily what's specifically made for nerf I love seeing people say, hey, I've adapted this from, you know, X, Y, and Z. This is made for this, but it works great for this application. Love it. That's what it's all about, sort of thinking outside the box, finding what's going to work for you and your specific situation, because we really like to stress that, you know, everybody is different. Everybody has unique needs, plays Nerf a little bit differently 
And uh, that's what's awesome. That's one of the many, many awesome things about Nerf. Uh, so there you go, guys. It's been way longer than I think any of the other uh, War Room videos because I just, I, I, maybe I just like showing off my gloves. I don't know. I don't really get to wear most of these for anything anymore. But uh, there you go. That's it. Definitely just something to think about. So uh, next time you're thinking about gloves or what you might want to add to your kit, take a look. Start looking around. Shop online. See what you can find. As always, guys, stay safe, have fun, and happy tagging. Oh, shit.